Hey guys, it's Will from NC Alarms, and today we're going to be testing the work that we did on the notifier system. So, the first thing that we need to do, however, since the NAC programming could not be completed through verifier tools, we are going to need to complete that through the interface. So, let's press enter, hit one for programming, and then enter your programming password. Mine just happens to be the default. Let's go to one for basic program, hit two for point, one for modify point. Now usually people stop here at this screen and get really confused as to what to do. What they do is they give you an equation or a formula for completing each task. So you have detector, module, or output circuit. So since we're modifying a NAC, we're going to do an output circuit. We have zero here, which means that's this node or this panel. And you can see it's dash A. A is the address of the notification circuit, which in this case will be one, two, three, or four, corresponding to the number of the notification appliance circuit or NAC. And then E means enter. So this symbol here, you can see and. If we look down here, we have this and button. Let's press AND, which means output, and you see this A starts blinking. So let's press 3, which is the NAC that I have the 4903-9221 on, and we'll press ENTER. Now, once you get to this screen, you have some work to do. Program, bell circuit, J&J &J wall device, 00, zero blank, 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 star, FW, the if you've never done this before, you're gonna have no idea what to do when you get here. First thing we're gonna do is you, if you want to change an item, you use the next or previous selection buttons, the plus or minus. So we're going to use plus to get to horn circuit. And then we're going to go over here and we are going to change our label by arrowing over. And to change our label, we're going to put simplex and it's nice that Notifier gives you this whole keyboard to work with, the you know, full, full QWERTY keyboard. We're gonna do 4903 dash 9221. And you can see it shows up up there. Our next step is to go down here. And if this middle one is not set to F, you need to set it to F because that means resound fire. Star means non-silenceable. And the other letters uh, correspond to different conditions on the panel, like security, um, supervisory, trouble, all kinds of stuff like that for alarm resound. And the final step is we need to arrow over to the first set of blank spaces available. These zeros don't get rid of them. The next thing you need to do, and you may be asking, how do we set the signal code? Well, we already did that in verifier tools. We set the system signals, uh, the system signal type, I'm sorry, the system signal coding option to march time. But what that doesn't do is that doesn't set all of your NACs to march time. In order to selectively turn on signal coding for your NAC circuits, you must use the special function software zone, which in this case, we can call on special function eight for signal code by pressing F and then eight. And as you can see, it shows up right there, F8. Now let's press enter. All right, now we're back at this screen again. So let's exit all the way out of programming until we get our system normal screen or whatever amount of troubles you may have had prior to programming the system. And now we're going to test it out. So let's see if the 4903-9221 does indeed do march time. Hear it? Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs>
you'll notice there was a skip there. That's just a common bug with the notifier panels. They do that. So ignore that if you have the capability of ignoring that. Alarm, pull station, FACP pull. I don't know why there's an underscore there. Um, I guess they just put that in there in the notifier thing for pull station. Zone four, um, it also activates zone zero, but that's by default. Everything activates zone zero, I guess. It's general alarm. Time, 7.18 p.m., February 5th, 2020. Loop two, module one. All right, let's reset the pull station. And now you can see, flipped up, nice. And let's go down here to the panel, which I did take the door off of, by the way. And we're going to go ahead and perform a system reset. Now we get our system initialization trouble. And once that clears, the panel will be normal. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed the verifier tools tutorial and demonstration video. If you liked them both, give them a thumbs up and recommend them to a friend who wants to know a little bit more about how to program with Notifier. My name is Will. Thanks for watching NC Alarms and I'll see you next time.